Okay, welcome back. Once again, I'm Capitosia. Welcome back to StarCraft 2. This is from a uh, new season kicked off, so you'll see some new maps. Um, but up here in the northwest, we have myself playing Zerg, and down here in the southeast, we have. I'm not even going to try. Um, this person down here, uh, Russian, Greek, something along those lines, I'm assuming. I'm not even going to try. But anyway, that's it. Looks like Petty Op, but ah, whatever. But anyway, the te Blue Tavern down here. So. Yeah, like I said, brand new season. Um, complete my my placement matches. Um, absolutely steamrolled. The poor guy was playing in my placement matches. Um, I think he ended up in silver. I ended up back in platinum, so I'm quite happy. Back where I started. Back where I should be. So yeah, it's about right. I'm plowing back up through the platinums again, so and I'm kicking my drink bottle over again. I always do that, and I don't know why. Sit on the printer. There we go. Right. So anyway, I'm doing my normal build. Um, overseas out on the scout. Another overseer here, overlord here, just having a quick look. Overlord, overseer's always getting backwards. And hatch first, more drones. Well, my opponent down here is doing standard as standard can be. Which is obviously supply depot into bunker. I don't really get bunker, barracks. So let's see what the turn's going to do here. I'm now getting my extractor and my spawning pool. You've seen me do all of this before. So, what's he going to do now? He's going to expand on the low ground. Interesting. If I'd have gone... He hasn't scouted. And he's gone for that. Now, if I'd have been going hatch first... Uh, pool first, sorry. I could have punished him for that. Basically, all I need to do be to run a load of links up. And I could cause him so much trouble. He's going to now get a reaper out. Very late. My... Overlord is almost all the way across before his Reaper makes an appearance. So his Reaper Scout is going to be very late. He's slightly undersaturated here. There we go. Just building the last one. Nothing major so far. Okay, so I'm getting another Overlord up. Get my Queens and a few Links. Oh, excuse me. He's only got a fog in me for some apparent reason. Right. He's also getting his first Marine up and he's building a bunker down on the low ground. As well as a factory behind this. He's not got a an add-on onto this. So there we go. So here comes his Reaper. Is this going to do anything? Let's have a look. No kills. Still no kills on this Reaper. It is repairing itself. There you go. I'm just going to move in and circle him. Nope. Nothing. So... I've lost six, six resources, he's lost a hundred. Not a good start. He's going to make that back, however, by killing my overlord. But, I did see what he was up to, so I saw the tech lab, I think. Did I? Let's have a look. Yep. Just want to pop it down. Up. You can never tell whether it's going to be a tech lab or a reactor, because they look the same at the beginning, but... You can take a guess. But obviously this I didn't see. But I'm moving out with my links. Speed is not quite done yet. My banging nest is on the way. I don't know about this yet, I don't believe. Nope. So I'm just going to come down and have a quick look. Okay, here we go. So he's got his bunker. Just going to drive my little ling fiend away for the minute. He raises the door, because otherwise I could have just run straight up. I'm pulling back. I know there's no base here now, but I don't know for a fact, but without the gas I can guess at this moment, so I'm pulling back until my extra lings are finished and my bailing nest. I'm also getting my extra hatch. Now he's going for a cloaked banshee, and he's expanding by adding two more barracks onto the back of this. I put him with three racks. And a factory. He does have a reactor on this one, but he's not building any units really. He's building two marines, which he is putting over here. He's expecting uh, some sort of muta play by the looks of it. But instead, I'm just moving over here. And now we're building bailings. We're getting overlord speed, just so we can move around a bit quicker. I was going to send another overlord out, but we'll see what happens in a minute. Here we go. I'm still building here. Here it comes. I was hoping to wait until this last one popped. There we go. Right, so now these guys are going to run around the back. 
And don't seal that out. And kill Marines. Now I'm in. I'm killing his workers. Just trying to do as much damage as humanly possible. I really should have shut this down now. But I'm just trying to stop his income at the minute. I'm not worried about upgrades or anything like that. I don't think I even saw the fact that it was whirring, which I really should have done. But I'm just after killing units at the moment. Again, my losses are high, but I'm stopping his income here. I've got lots more lings in production. We've got lings coming across the map from all different directions. And I know he's got a banshee out. So all I'm doing here, if you look, I'm building spore crawlers now. I'm just doing enough to try and keep this banshee at home. I don't know whether it's got cloak or not at this point. It does. There we go. But now I'm feeling a bit more confident I can afford to pull back. I've got anti-air defences. There we go. I'm building my hatchery into a hive. A lair even. There we go. So, yeah. I'm pretty, pretty confident I can deal with this banshee no matter what it throws at me now. Whether it has cloak or not. Now he's getting stim here. He's also getting a armory behind this. Another axe. Take him up to four. So there we go. Now he's hot swapped these two over. So he's now starting to produce react re reactor out his uh, medivax. Okay, here we go. This thing is going to cause me a few problems. He cloaks. Pointless, really. But. There's no point in our cloaking because my overseer is all over him. As soon as he cloaks, I'm just going to spot him and shoot him. So, three spore crawlers coming down here as well, just to make his life a bit more miserable. He's going to kill that one as well, which is really stupid on me, letting him get these. He doesn't quite get the creep tumor, which is good for me. He gets one shot off on my queen, but yeah, there's no point really. He can't. He can't keep. Given that the overseer is an observer, he can't just cloak whenever he feels like it. Well, he can, but that'll happen. Okay, I'm now getting a hydra layer up. So we start producing hydras. I want to expand to my third, but he stopped me a couple of times. So I'm now producing lots of lings. What is he producing? He is building. He is looking to expand. He is also starting to build drops. What upgrades do we have here? Not a lot. Okay, my speed for my baneling. He has a lot more upgrades than me, so... But he's working on it. He's working on two... Bloody hell. So he's going all out attack here, really. He's not a lot of defense being produced. But he flies right by this. So I see him coming in. There we go, so we just wait, we hold on for just a second before engaging and we wipe out that drop for no losses. So we're starting to make it back now. Even though we crashed in a load of banelings at the start, we're starting to pull back. I'm also going for range plus one. Because I am starting to produce, I've got my hydrogen. I'm starting to produce hydras. Not many at this point, but it will also affect the queens, so it's never always a good thing. But now here come plenty of hydra. So this is my army at the moment. He ha I have... What's that this? Let's have a look. So we've got. So we got 66 lings versus... One medevac. Two liberators. One tank. Two and 13. So he really doesn't have a lot of army here. Oh, but he does have two widow's mines. Beep, 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 beep. He's scanning. He's looking for me. I think he was scanning over here, I think. But... He's going to fly over here. I'm sending this on a, a recon. Fresh tab is up to six racks now, and I see the whole lot. He stims to come and try and kill me. Shoots his own building by mistake. And doesn't get to land. So I see, nope, not yet. Now he's loaded up, ready for a drop, because he knows my army's over here. But right, here we go, Hydra's coming in. The aim here basically just to mess that thing up as much as possible. Force him, if he wants to use it, he's going to have to fix it. Pretty close this one. 
He's now going for armor here for vehicles. I've income. I'm in the lead on that. I'm going around the back here just to make sure he hasn't expanded over here as well. There's another drop there. But he's going to run into a lot of problems here. So my army's down here, isn't it split at the moment? Over comes his next drop. He's going for plus three already. But no shields at all for his infantry. That's not a good plan. Has he got combat shields even? Yeah, he has. I've seen him got combat shields. Here comes his drop. He's going to boost down here and drop. I'm going to grab my army and pull it all back. Which is rather stupid of me, but I am building banings here as well. He's going to kill the entire middle line here, but I'm not really worried about that. My queen's here taking time to do their injects before they get involved, but here we come. He's trying to take down my spire. But all that's really going to happen, he's going to lose this drop. He's overstimmed. And then that happens. He sees a couple of hydras, uh, so a couple of mutalisks as well. And the mutalisks shut down that drop. So now in production, suddenly we have turrets. He suddenly realised I have, he's seen two, two mutalisks. Just two, just these two, that's all I've got. I'm not building anymore. And he has gone mad with the defences. Anti-air defences. But he's going to quickly nom through these. And then we're going to pull back. That Liberator is so dead. A lot of these Marines are very dead. We've got one Corruptor in the air. And he's building more turrets. It's a very over-the-top response to very limited air Zerg that he's seen. Now, the only way out for me really is either... It's back towards him, and I don't want to do that. So what I'm going to do is eat my way through above the pile of gold here. So I can come down that way. There we go. Now in production, I've got more links. I am building more Hydra now. Uh, more Mutilis, even. He set this up as a planetary, but it is already busted. He's very much turtling himself into this area. There you go. He's starting to push out. But I can see him. He kills my overlord, but then my, my overseer, but never mind. He scans over here, sees more mutalisks, more marines, and more mines. So at the moment, I've got several units 20 Hydra, 10 Corruptor, uh, 10 Muta. 23 links, 5 bane, 1 corruptor up against, it's mostly marines. This force here is almost pure marine, he's got 1 liberator and 1 um, tank. So he spots that base, he scans to see where I am, I'm there so I'm pulling back to this base. Where is he going now? I've moved completely now, I'm covering this base over here. And we're going to catch this force completely out of position. I really should be spending my money, but then so should he. At the moment, I'm on 2-2, two, 2-1-1. Two, uh, two, one, one. But my hydras are making pretty... My hydra, Lingbane hydra, is making pretty short work of this. Because it is mostly just marines. He sends off a double drop. Yep, I caught it, so I'm chasing him down now. I know he's there. <coughs> so, one down. Yeah, there we go. That drop completely wiped out, and this force is going to push north as well. And that's going to get wiped out as well. So, we're doing pretty well so far. He's building a few more Liberators and some Willow Mines now. Got something stuck in the back of my throat. I don't know what's going on with that. <coughs> right, just can pause it a sec. Let's take a look at what the position that we're in here. So at the moment he's he's just ahead on income. That's because I'm transferring really at the moment. Yeah, I've only got two 
Let's have a look. I've got that one working there. That one working there. And I'm in the process of transferring my drones down, so... Realistically speaking, I'm slightly ahead in income. I've got more working. So... Yeah. If we, we ignore the fact that I'm transferring drones, I am ahead. Just at this moment, it's not showing. Okay, so I'm ahead on income. He's boxed himself into this area back here. Okay, and he's trying to drop all over the shop, but it's really not working because it's being shut down by a very large Hydra force and obviously my Mutalisks as well. So, what does he need to do in this position? He's still pounding out Marine, Marauder, Medevac, Mine. That's mostly all he's got. If we take a look at his units, that is l mostly what he's got, apart from a couple of Liberators. At this point, he needs to he needs to perform a tech switch at this point because it, what he's doing is not going to win in the game. Let's see what he does. That's what I'd be doing. I'd be looking to move into something else. Possibly, I wouldn't be looking to move into too much air because of the amount of hydras that are around. I'd be looking at um, an anti-air mech army. Um, well, a, a mech army, anti-ground mech army, really. But hellbats, um, more tanks. Yeah. Sending out another widow mine. Widow mines are a pain in the backside, but they're not. As, yeah, they're not that good and on top of like I said at the moment he has gone very heavy into attack but nothing into defense at the moment he's gone for vehicle armor one no weapon so he's got nothing on his mech but on his marines he hasn't look at this from cash I mean alright look at my gas but still look at his cash flow okay he's scanning he's looking for stuff let's have a look what does he actually know let's pause it what does he actually know so he knows about that and up here, he doesn't know an awful lot because he never really got there. He'll obviously know about Banelings because he's seen them. But he doesn't know about most of what's going on. He certainly doesn't know that that's on his way to being a lair. Doesn't know about a Baneling Nest. I'm, he'll assume that he knows... I'll assume that he knows it's, that I've got Baneling Nest because he's seen Banelings. But other than this landing, he hasn't really pressured me. Now what do I know about him? I know about... Let's have a look. If we take a look at his cam, so I don't know about that, there, but that's it, really. I know you can say that there, but yeah, not really worth looking at. And another factory. But other than that, I've seen pretty much everything. The advantage of scouting, my friends. Now then, we're going for 2-2 two -two here. I'm pretty soon 3-3 will be available. I'm throwing more Corruptors out into the air. Don't know why these guys are moving over that way. I must have accidentally grabbed them as well. So I'm trying to push in, make him think that he can afford to push out a bit. We're just tallying at the moment. He's not building anything at the moment either. What's this, uh... 130, what's he doing? Okay, here we go, quick change of target. Bang, let him hit that. My Lynx took that full force, but I'm not worried about the Lynx taking the hit. I'm really not. We'll take down that Lib. He's gonna hide under this Liberator. There we go, and now he's doing what he should be doing, which is targeting my overlords. I'm not quite sure why my overlords are out here. Hey, you saw the effect of Marauder Slow on that Baneling as well, where it was rolling around there. I've removed all apart from one of his Liberators, which is just here. Big stim there from him. Making his troops nice and soft and squishy. Again, because he hasn't armoured them. At the end of that fight... I haven't got a lot left either, but I've got more than he has. In production. There we go. I'm going for 3-3-3. As well as... Going for that. I remembered. The thing is, the Adrenal Glass hit upgrade here is actually really good. Zerglings attack fast enough as it is. That thing makes him attack 40% faster. So yeah, very good. This guy's sat here. I'm just moving out, making sure he hasn't taken any more bases that I don't know about. 
because at the moment that's what I know. So I don't know that he's got this. But I do know he was building something, so I know there should be one somewhere. I'm going for Great Spire and an Ultralisk Cavern. Excuse me. Right, there we go. We found another drop coming in. Again, Mr. Drop, you're not going to get very far. There you go. He's trying to drop. He's still trying to get into the drop, which is one of the biggest strengths of Terran, as I've said on multiple occasions. But at this point, it's just not happening. Now, I know about this. I've already seen that because I've got my Overlord over here. So I'm going straight for the Widow Mine. Clear that up in about half a second flat. Now, this is turned into a planetary. But, I'll tell you what kills planetaries quite nicely. It's 3-3 three, three Hydras. As soon as they finish 3-3, three, three, they're going to be a menace. I'm also getting my Ultralisk upgrades, and Ultras, when they're fully upgraded as well, they do a hell of a lot of damage. And I'm getting both the upgrades for the Ultras here. We're going to build some Banelings. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of gas at the minute. Which is annoying. At the moment, supply as well, he's miles behind in that. He's got a lot of cash floating still, though. He's building three more racks. He's building a reactor on the back of that, and he's building three more barracks. There they are. One, there's two of them, anyway. Yep, three. So he's building three more barracks, and he's not actually producing out of the barracks he's got. So that's going to take him up to ten racks. Or is it going to say a 7? Let's have a look. While well, his army, while well, he's about to lose his entire army. And now he knows I've got Ultralisks on the field. Uh, yeah, 10 racks he's going to go up to here. Pop, there we go, look at that. And he's not producing anything out of them. So he's got all this production. Yeah, that... Planetaries don't last very long against... Upgraded, fully upgraded ultras. Well, yeah, not much stands up to fully upgraded ultras, if I'm perfectly honest. But there we go, bang bang. We're gonna kill this one as well. Yep, just gonna butcher what's left of his units, and he just quits. He's done. He just leaves. No GG, no nothing. And I mean, at the end, I'm expanding again. So yeah, a bit ridiculous, really. So. Let's take a look at back, back a look and see what we could have done better. I, I'm going to say, obviously, my creep spread. Again, I am working. It is better. It is better than it was, but it still needs a lot of work. Um, but other than that, I think I did all right. I mean, obviously, not know about that one now, but tech switching pretty much at the right time. Um, the only thing that it did annoy me was that, that I did wrong really badly with dealing with that um, Val Valkyrie. What am I saying Valkyrie for? Banshee at the start of the game that I should have dealt with a lot better um, but other than that I think the tech moves I made were right I think pushing for a Hydra heavy style especially when I saw what he was going for I think worked because um, Hydra's Hydra's a glass cannony really they're, they're very squishy and they're very expensive but they're pretty potent. And obviously, as well, I was keeping my supply pretty high. Um, I'm building 11 more Hydras at the moment, using, using all the lava I've got. So, now let's take a look at my opponent here. Now, dude, again, I'm not going to try and pronounce your name, so I am sorry, but yeah, I could barely get my tongue around English, let alone anything else. 10 barracks, dude. Building nothing. Your supply was always lower than mine, by a lot. I mean, look, you maxed out 118, and I haven't flattened any... I'm not as far as I'm aware, I haven't flattened any depots. You need to have more units on the field, and you need to be pushing your supply cap up. Having the production facilities is all well and good, but you might as well have no barracks at the minute because you ain't producing sod all out of them. You're not really producing anything, and you haven't been for quite some time. Your income, at the moment, you've got, look, nearly 2,300 of each banked. Okay, that's what? 50 million. That's a lot of marines. You can max out on marines, just spam them out. That would have caused me quite a bit of difficulty. The marines have a lot of DPS. Your drops were good, but 
you should have noticed that I had literally observers everywhere, scattered across the way. So no matter where you came from, I was on top of it. Um, being able to see everything, in my case, really helps. Obviously, you can scan and pick things up, but I can just see it. I can see everything. I mean, you know, you dropped off down here. I can see you because of him. You know, I saw your your mine, and I went straight for the widow mine. I literally targeted out the widow mine because I could see it. You know, so and then at the end here, going for all attack and no defensive upgrades is oh, oh, oh you finally got one. You finally got plus one. But the problem is it's too little and it's too late. Because at the moment, if you take a look at your infantry, right, they're doing three times as much damage, but they can still only take pretty much the same hits. Mine? How long do you think he's going to take you to chew through five armour? A lot. A lot of time. You don't need this base. You need to spend your money. Having all this, you know, it's not a case of the fact that oh, you get set, it's on to the next map. That's it. This is this is done. You know, that's it. End of. So, yeah, with all that production facilities, you should have had a massive army, but you didn't because you were just thinking to yourself, "Oh, I've got lots of money. What can I do? I oh, know I'll spam more barracks." Yeah, that's all well and good if you're using them to build. Okay, so that'd be my advice for you. Um, what you did right, I obviously you know. Having plenty of production is good. That your micro was pretty good with that banshee early on, but yeah, dude, this the amount of production facilities you had compared to the army size was a bit. The two don't match up. I mean, if you've got more barracks and you've got units and you're doing something wrong, and in this case, at one point, I think you did. Well, you do at the end here, but then that's not really surprising. But yeah, what I would advise for you, dude, is basically don't build quite so many, and the ones you do build. Use. Use, 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 use. And if you take a look. There we go. Now I know I'm Zerg, but 224 units is not a lot for me to be killing, to be honest, to, to win the game. Okay, I should be. You're not Pro. You're not Protoss, right? If you were Protoss, I can understand. But you're not. You're Terran. So you're going to be almost producing as many units as me. So looking at this. You know the fact that I only lost 160 more units. And considering like I said. That the, a lot of those will be bangling. And on top of that I get two links. For every one marine you get. So I should have more units than you. There's just a few things for you to think about. I mean you did okay but. Once these guys were on the field, you were stuffed. And it took me a little while to get to them, but at this point, what's going to happen next if the game plays on? I'm just going to chew all the way through your base. And you're going to do the terrorism thing and try and fly into the corner, but you can't do that because you know I've got corruptors on the field. Or I could just simply expand, 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 to cover the whole map in creep and then kill you. But, um, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to leave that there for now. Uh, thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed this one. Like I said, um, yeah, take what I say with a pinch of salt. I'm not the best player in the world. I'd never claim to be. But I think when your opponent looks at a game like this, and, and it's always good to get feedback from your opponent. Because I can see it's... it's with any game, especially an RTS game, if you're doing it competitively, it's very easy to be light on yourself. And be critical the heavily critical of your opponent now I don't think I'm particularly light on myself I really don't I think that you know I can see what I've done wrong I'm looking at it thinking you're fucking idiot you need to sort it out your creeps better because you keep doing this wrong you know there were things I could have done a lot better I needed to be quicker on moving my drones around I needed to be quicker on getting up to this level I should have been faster with my tech tree I shouldn't have got zerg locked on zerglings for so bloody long but I did enough to pull me through. And so, you know, I am critical of what I do. It's not a case of I'm sat there going, oh, no, I did good, brilliantly. I, I did a lot good. You know, the, the tech was right. The switches, when I did them, were probably a bit slow, but they were the right switches. Um, so that's why I sort of think, yeah, okay, I did pretty well. And keeping up on my upgrades as well. But there were things that I need to work on. I'm not saying otherwise. And I think that 
all the all when I say to to yeah people that I'm playing uh, with the possible exception of one or two um, if I say it, then it's 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 meant with the best intentions um, that if I was in their position if I was playing as as my opponent here as, as whatever that is like I said I'm not even going to try but if I was playing with him if I watch this replay back that's what I'd be thinking to myself why am I not building units so yeah and sometimes it's easy to be critical of yourself and not so critical of your opponent so or critical of your yes your opponent even and not so critical of yourself I try and be balanced and be both so yeah that's why I do it but anyway again thanks for your time for the minute I've been Cappadocia before I sign off really quickly um just let you know the aim for this week. Uh, we're going to carry on with uh, with uh, Vagina Girl. I almost said Buff Anderson. With Vagina Girl in E4. And I've managed to work out a schedule, so I'm going to have a second set of videos appearing as well this week again. Um, and what that's going to be, well, you just have to wait and see. But anyway, again, thanks for your time. Um, if you do have any questions or if you want to comment on anything, if you think I am being light on myself and I've missed something, please don't hesitate to pop it down in there and I'll, you know, we'll have a chat about it. It's not a problem. I will respond. Um, just, like I said, don't be an arse because, you know, as I've said before, me and arses just don't get along. I have a tendency. But I could be a real nasty bastard when I need to be. And believe me, you start being an arsehole to me, I will bring it to bear. Um, so <laughs> just play nice and I'll play nice. That's all I ask. Um, but yeah, so if you do think I'm being, uh, you know, overly critical of my opponent and very light on myself, then tell me what else you think I did wrong. I mean, obviously, I'm still quite reliant on the select all army hotkey and things like that, which I am trying to win myself off of. Um, but it's just like, when you start to, to, to zone in, it's just a case of bang, there, I've got everything now. I mean, obviously, I left, like, a massive horde back here, and then I started pulling it forward because I F2'd it. I know I did that wrong. But it's something that is a very hard habit to break, and it's not something that I feel at this moment in time I would be comfortable breaking, just purely because at the moment I don't feel that my macro, my micromanagement of units is in a position where I can come off that, you know, that particular crutch. That's cool. So yeah, but yeah, if you do want to want to discuss anything or leave me any hints or anything like that, then please feel free. But for the minute. I've been Cappadocia, signing off.